Oh, I like music. Do you like music? Do you listen to music often? I, I hope you do, because it really fills your soul. Um, but, uh, I listen to a lot of music, and I make a little playlist for my music, and I decided to put myself on a challenge recently, you know? I decided to create a challenge for myself, and what I did is I would make a new playlist, and um, each uh, song in the playlist, in the title, would have one of my friend's names uh, in it. I was uh, listening to a song called Butcher Pete, and my friend Pete, obviously. So I was singing, what if I did that? And each song had a friend, uh, and their name was in the title. So I started looking for songs, and this song had to be something that I enjoyed, something that I actually listened to. So I started looking for songs on Spotify, and find one. I was doing it for one for my friend Xander. Xander's been on the channel before, so I was looking through all these Xander songs, and none of them sounded really good until I found something called The Xander Song. And that intrigued me. I was like, what's The Xander Song? So I decided to listen to it, and here it is. Xander, Xander, Xander. Xander, 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 Xander. C-A-N-D-E-R. C-A-N-D-E-R. Xander, 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 Xander. So yeah, that, that's the song. It just kind of goes on for the rest of the song, singing. Xander, 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 and I thought it was, thought it was funny, so I added it, I was like, that's hilarious, whoever did that. And I started to look up um, who actually did it, and I looked at his Spotify name, and it's the guy who sings your name over and over again. And I was like, huh? What does that mean? What does that mean for me? Like, what, what, is, what is this? And I, I started to look at what else has he, has he done, and... Like what? Like, huh? BJ, 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 BJ. Christian, Christian, Christian. Christian, 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 Christian. So yeah, it has, it has a bunch of name songs, and there was like most of my friends there. And I, I was like, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of names that I just picked out just to few my friends. How many? How many does he actually have? I looked at it. This guy has 17 albums of a hundred names each. I think that's correct. 17 times a hundred. That is 1,700 songs, just about names. Just all about names and. You know, singing in the same tune, and I thought that was hilarious. And there's a, a name, a song for almost every name out there. I found most of my friends. There's only a few that didn't have one, but they were just maybe spelt a different way, or an abbreviation of the name. And this guy has created so many songs for just about names, and I thought that was really cool. I thought, I thought that was amazing. And I, uh... I thought that was kind of it. I thought that was like, ah, oh, that's all this guy does. No, this guy has even more. Um, whilst looking through all these names, I got recommended, or I started to look up uh, other names, and I got didn't get uh, necessarily a song about a name, but more song about a town. And I was like, a town? Like I was trying to look up a song about someone's name, and it recommended me a song about a town, and I was confused. I looked at the guy who created the song about the town, and it's the guy who sings songs about cities and towns. And I thought to myself, oh, what's this? Let's just look through his songs. You know, what does he have to offer? For those who don't know, that's where I live. I live in Abilene, Texas. Um, come visit me. Um, huh? Huh? So I started looking at this guy, and it turns out it's the same guy, you know, obviously. And um, this one, he, I think, 
has like different albums for each state and he just picks like 90 cities or something and then just makes a song about each one and it's not even like it's just Abilene, Texas over and over again if I uh Abilene Zoo, that's something we have. And he also talks about our West Texas Fair and Rodeo in this song. The, uh, he actually, actually does a little bit of research on the town and finds, you know, the most popular things and writes a song about it. Like it's, uh, And he does it with every... And I was like, oh, right, this guy has two Spotify accounts and all he does is sings about cities and names. And yeah, that's all he does, right? That, that's it. That's all he does. No, 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 no found out um in total i think he has about 15 spotify accounts i, I could be wrong just uh band names or like different uh, uh, just different names for him or different things he does um and we'll just i followed all of them because you know he's a i think he's a great guy i think he's a cool guy so i'm gonna follow all of them so if we go to one of the cool ones is paparazzi and the photogs i think i'm saying that right i hope so he sings about celebrities. And I'll just I'll just play one of my favorites. Toby the wire. You are Spider Man. And you got to kiss Kirsten Dunst upside down. Oh, oh, oh Sebastian Stan. You are such a wonderful man. Edgar Wright is a wonderful man. Um, so his songs, you know, and there's like a lot of albums that he's done through the past, you know, I don't know how long, can't really tell you. Um, that one's just about celebrities. We got another one of my favorite uh, Spotify accounts is probably the very nice, interesting singer person. He, these songs, these albums are all about specific things. So we got one about emotions. We got one about games and sports. One about household products and household items. Like, I'll just play, I'll just play some for you. Bar of soap, bar of soap, bar of soap, bar of soap. I get really dirty and smelly all the time. Bar of soap, bar of soap. Man delivery person delivers the mail to wherever the mail is gonna go. I got a lot of stuff. I don't know where to put it. What am I gonna do? How about some cargo shorts? Cargo shorts are great. I got a truck and I like to drive it. It is a good truck. It's good for hauling stuff. So like that, the what I just mentioned, like the different topics of songs. He's got like maybe I mean I don't know about like ninety of each different thing. So I'm talking about a truck, an, uh, an SUV, a minivan. Any type of vehicle you can think of, and that's just one of the accounts. And this is probably one of my favorites, and it's very underrated. The Sorry Apology Song Person. One of my favorites. Um, he has about, I think it's like 90, 90 songs about different apologies. I will just play a few. I'm very sorry. So sorry. I lost your dog. I lost your dog. And they're very oh, baby, detailed, I'm like so sorry for situations. For kissing your sister. I'm so sorry, you're a vegetarian because you don't get to eat yummy meat. I'm sorry, I threw up all over your grandmother. <laughs> so this guy just has so many different songs about the most random things you can think of and they're all online for you to listen to and in total he has over 20,000 songs and I was like baffled by this guy and he's been doing this for at least the past 10 years so I had to look him up I had to be like what is up what is up with this guy who is he looked him up his name is uh, Matt Farley, and I, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, 
His name is Matt Farley. Um, he owns a record label called Motern Media. Yes, around 2008, he discovered that songs with silly titles from its bands, which he had streaming on Spotify, that were only were the only ones generating revenue. He soon became writing and recording songs about everything and anything that he thought people might search for. Yes, and literally, there's probably a song about anything you can think of, um, and if not, he probably can make it. So, from what I'm hearing, and I could be wrong, um, he gains enough money off these songs to make a living. But, in my opinion, from what I've seen, he is not very famous as I think he should be. Because his Spotify accounts only have, at the most, a couple thousand followers. And, in my opinion, I'm not, I'm so shocked that this guy is not, like, well known by everybody because of how many songs he's created, and I think he deserves that. He's been on Jim. Shut up. He's been on Jimmy Fallon. He did a little song in Jimmy Fallon, but he, uh. He's not very popular. His uh, biography is not very even long. I was expecting to see more. And there's, there's not much about this guy. He's like 41 years old. Name's Matt Farley, and he lives in Massachusetts, Danvers, Massachusetts, and I want to meet him and shake his hand. This guy is. Honestly, such incredible, and to do 20,000 songs like that about literally anything you can think of is insane. I just found him recently, and I, and I, I really, really want to talk to him, and there's a way how. I followed him on Twitter. You can follow him at Motron Media. Another thing in his Twitter bio is his phone number. His phone number is just sitting right there, and I could call it if I wanted to, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call him, I have not tried to call him yet, I'm going to call him now and um, ask if there's any way I could set up a, an interview because I'd love to uh, talk to this guy, and um, we're about to see. Hello? Hello, is this Matt? Yes. Awesome, I think you're, I think you're really incredible, so I'll message you. Alright, thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's insane! Holy moly! <laughs> no! Um, I, I'm not gonna show the full... You might have seen it. I didn't show the full um, phone combo because I, I realized halfway through that I'm recording him without him knowing. Uh, but it basically said that I could set up an interview with him and I think that'd be awesome. Uh, he was so casual too. This guy is in, is, is truly amazing. And um, he just answered his phone, and uh, ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna set up an interview time with him, and maybe I could make a sequel to this video because I think this guy is uh, just incredible for the, what he's done. Yeah, twenty thousand songs. Uh, so, uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna send this to Matt. So Matt, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this, and um, we'll set up a time. And uh, oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be awesome. I am so... Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed this. If you don't, like, God, this guy has made 20,000 songs about the most random stuff. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. How are people not invested into this? Ah, thanks for watching uh, this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, I plan on doing some just random uh, types of videos. I'm kind of done with Life with Caden and the, um, I want to do some more storytelling stuff in the future, but uh, just right now I'm taking a break. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh,